Right, something that wrapped in bubble wrap, I don't know what it was. I still don't know what it is actually. <laughs> Welcome back to Scott Wonders World. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, no wonder. Right, something wrapped in bubble wrap. I don't know what it was. I still don't know what it is actually. But there you go. There you go. Have a check, sorry. It's a telly. <laughs> the television. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll start again. Hello, welcome back to Scott Wonders World. Um, no one to say. She's cooking dinner, and then we're going to do a couple of other um, beer reviews, uh, things that she's going to like probably more, or certainly interested in more than she might be interested in this one. Just been over to Morrison's. Uh, we've got about two. We've got two Morrison's in Pompey, and there's another one in Waterloo, about about seven miles away that tends to have better range of beers. So, popped up there, uh, looking for something completely different, and then ended up coming up with three beers I haven't seen before. And this one is the one that's piqued my interest. Um, A, from the, the breweries that are, that are involved, and the style of beer. And this one is a collaboration beer between Salt, out of Salt Air in, in um, Yorkshire, and Sire in Berkshire, and it's their north-south divide. I've not seen anything about this one. And it's a Kvike IPA coming in at a very sessionable 7.4%. Um, really like the can art. Well, obviously, so um, I've got this um, hexagon. So all their beers are, are um, on patterns and stitching and things like that. So you've still got the hexagon uh, style in there. And you've got is it Sauron got the wheel and that piece of pieces? I can't remember to be fair. But I like the can art. The can looks really, really nice. And there's some details there. I'm not going to read that. Um, so you can pause it if you can see. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. Um, but really, really, um, really look like uh, the can art work. Do like a Kvike IPA, so it should be um, fruity. Um, I find them quite, quite dry on the mouth as well. I don't know what you guys think. Um, I've got my salt glass. Which I like, I'm a huge fan of my salt glass. It looks a bit dirty, but I've just cleaned it. Um, so, yeah, let's get it out. Three pounds, so another one that's in the three pound range. Um, most of the stuff that I've had from salt, uh, certainly um, supermarket wise, have been really, really good. You had ECAT, ICAT, whatever you want to call it. Tram, Tram's back in um, Morrison's, I saw that earlier. Tram was one of my favourite beers of last year. Absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm hoping this is going to be up there. Yes, well, if there's any um, sediment in there. So in the glass, hazy orange, nothing getting through that at all. Looks like a lovely, looking sort of um, uh, New England IPA-ish uh, with a dusting of uh, uh, white head on the top. Uh, although it's coming across quite yellowy on the camera. Uh, my end here is looking very white. So in the glass, it looks superb, to be fair. Really, really, really look, I like the look of that. Let's give it a sniff and see what we get. Spill some. The, um, the, the main, main aroma I'm picking out is a whack full of pineapple. Some citrus, very, there's some tropical fruits. Take your pick on what they are, um, hiding in the background. And, and maybe, so 
some orange, but maybe a dusting of coconut. It smells really, really nice. Um, three pound over to Morrison's. Check it out. Cheers. Seven point four percent. So that kvike yeast, so it's a new Norwegian yeast, gives it a really fruity flavour. Really juicy, I mean properly juicy. Um, huge pineapple hit um, out of that. Some orange, sort of tangerine. There is a little bit of um, coconut hiding away in there. Tropical fruits, pick one out. Um, probably mango, something like that. Uh, <clears throat> I think it was said there's on the can. I can hardly bloody read it. Uh, North South Divide is a punchy IPA fermented with kvike yeast, pronounced kvike. It's good, at least I've pronounced it right. Uh, originating in Norway, kvike. You fucking supposed to read that. Uh, gives undertones of funky pineapple, picking out the pineapple. To complement this, we've put together a combination of our favourite hops, Galaxy Sabro. That's where the um, the uh, co uh, coconutty flavour is coming from. Uh, Idaho 7 and Citra. This results in a juicy IPA packed full of tropical fruit uh, aromas with hints of pine and like bitterness. I'm not picking any pine out of that, if I'm honest. Maybe a touch at the back end. Um, body. It's got a nice body to it. It's nice to carbonate. It's not overly carbonated. It's um, it's maybe a touch thinner than I thought it might be. Um, Seven point four percent. Nope, nowhere to be seen. Uh, fruity. Flavour's coming from the um, that uh, really fruity kvike yeast. So pineapple, orange, tangerine a uh, bit of mango. I think that's all right. Um, for three pound, um, that's quite dangerous because that's 7.4% is really well hidden. I would buy that again. It's very, very nice. That's, um, it's no tram beater, but as, as a supermarket IPA goes, that's pretty damn good. Well worth hunting down if you can find it. In Morrison's, three pound. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. I wouldn't give it a thumbs up. Um, for me, doing what it says on the, t on the tin. Really drinkable, 7.4%, nowhere to be seen. Lovely fruity flavours, um, well worth picking up. Um, so over to Morrison's, let us know if you have it. Let us know in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I don't care, stuff. don't care. Don't care. Um, there's a subscribe button if you want to subscribe to the channel. Um, press the bell, that gives you a notification when we bring out a new video. There's a join button if you want to help the channel out. And me and Wanda, we'll see you very soon. Have a